Hello guys, today we're going to be making a Lamborghini Veneno. So just so we can see like what it might look like after, here's the one that I made. For me it looks pretty good, there's definitely improvements to be wanted, but this is still a pretty good, good looking car. So let's get started. Wait first the tools you're gonna need here is of course you're gonna need the skill tool very important like the most important tool we're gonna be using this like all the time pretty much the paint tool it's like the thing that you can have it could be useful but you don't really need it so basically option now the wrench you need this because if you don't have any servos this is the only thing saving you from making your car turn because we're going to be using the old wheels now the screwdriver technically it's optional technically it's not we're going to see where we're going to use this but anyways let's start the build by first taking two blocks two random ass blocks placing them on top of each other and then of course you're going to get your old wheels and place them in the perfect position when there are not no clipping into the ground but also also at the correct height for you to like make it moving but if we're not gonna be adding like two sticks and then adding up that's too much work so just do this and after that just take take the block again delete both of those blocks take a block and then we're gonna extend it to how to a uh, place. So like get it like really close or far. See, this is gonna depend on how long you want your vehicle to be. And my lamp even even then I guess it's just like right, right about here. Yeah, pretty much. And then you take your old wheel and then replace it. And then you add the another wheel. So now, after that, you're gonna have to decide the width or length of your car. Now, for a good car, this seems pretty good. Let's extend it a bit, like right there. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. So now just place it on the ends or where you want to place it. And then after you do that, just delete the entire thing. But make sure they're aligned. And what I mean by aligned is that they're in like pretty much the same spot. And if that's true, then you just delete everything. Now we're gonna start with the car itself. Now what I use in this build in this build is titanium since I have a ton of it, so that's where we're gonna be using. First create like a block gap like this in each of the wheel columns like this. And make sure there's no clipping a bit so it doesn't fall. And we're gonna be using some saving block tips for this work. And we're done. Now what we could do is actually we need to do this right now. Extend the whole thing. We pretty much extend the whole thing. Delete that one. Extend the whole thing. Now to save on some materials, since we have no materials left, do this. It's still, it's still like a place, but look at the amount of material you should save there. That's a lot. So now, after you've done that, you're gonna want to place like a block somewhere. Like a titanium block in the front. So like in a reasonable good old place. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to get a bit of. Uh, forgot to get. 
reference picture. So I'm gonna be getting that for the video. Since we're gonna be working out the front first, let's get a front picture. Oh, very nice, very nice. Now after that, we're just gonna add this. Gonna add this. Just like add a bit of this. Actually, just line it up with the wheels. Cause why not? <laughs> Place it there, and then bam! It's gonna take away some of your some of your blocks, but as long as you don't use too much, it will take away that lot. And make sure it's no clipping. The reason is when we're anchoring this thing, it needs to be no clipping so that it doesn't just fall off. Alright guys, sorry for the cut, um, yeah, so we're still at this step, we're just gonna raise it a bit, make it a bit thin, and yeah, like right, no, actually just make it perfect size, and then raise it to a fat, right, to a height that you think would be suitable for a Lamborghini this size, maybe like right here, once you're done with that, Create the small block gap right here. Use a scale to create like a big block capture right here. And this is just the main idea of the car itself. It's not the actual car. The actual car is going to be a lot more advanced than this. To be honest, I remember my build, and we actually have to put this in the middle because we can separate like the hood. The hood is a bit different than the other cars, so we can see it's kind of like a curve. And now we're gonna make that is by separating, separating like the straight piece with like the other. Like the cur like the diagonal pieces, like how I did for my build. So we we'll place that there, and then take, press the plus button right here. Make sure you have anchor block on, or else this won't work. Actually, at the start, set the rotating to about like 15 degrees. That should be good enough. Fifteen. There you go. Fifteen degrees gonna make it so that when you press R or T, R for rotate, T for tilt, it's gonna rotate 15 degrees in that direction. So you're gonna rotate, and you can actually see it's rotated this way. This actually make the, the straight thing a bit thinner, yeah that looks good. Now we are gonna be adding here the 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 diagonal part of the hood alright just make sure you conserve as much materials as you can if you can conserve a bit of materials that's good and now hmm that's a problem see Supposed to be tilted this way, but it's tilted that. I had this problem before, where like it looks like. Sorry for the unexpected cut. Uh, yeah. So basically, it's supposed to be pointing like this, this way, like that. It's supposed to be rotated like this. That's correct angle. But it kind of looks like something different. See, this was a big problem for me. It's supposed to be pointing the other direction, but it looks like it's pointing in a different direction. Put it this way. Rotate it. This is about right where you want it to be. 
in order to avoid this problem, I don't really know to be honest. Just try to make it obvious that you're not trying to make it look like the way. And if you do that correctly, it should look something like this. Now I gotta do the same thing for the other side, which I'll just cut the video. Ah! Alright, so I fixed it. I added the right one and I fixed it up a bit to be about the correct distance. Yeah, it's pretty good distance. Extend it a bit. If it looks like it's not gonna match the car size, extend it or decrease it. Because it will definitely help with stop the bit. Now it should be perfect. Extend this a bit. There you go. Now we're gonna tilt it this time. Instead of rotating, no, we're tilting it. Now we're rotating because apparently tilting is going forward and backwards. Alright, done. And then let's go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. I swear that I mean this this mouse cannot click properly. Oh, that's why I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even clicked on this one. Oh my God, go just to. Right there. Alright, so you're gonna want to add like you're gonna want to make the hood like the straight hood a bit higher because if you look at the reference picture of the Lamborghini you can actually see I swear that I mean I cannot turn the Bro what's wrong with my mouse? Alright, so you can see it's about right there. So that's good. Now we're gonna do that to the other side so it's tilt. And then you're gonna rotate. So this is about the direction. So, alright, you gotta make it match, I mean at least, right, make it match, now I don't know if, if my mouse has a problem with this, or it's because, it's because this is connected, and I don't need it, I just realized. I don't have my keyboard out here anyway, so why am I connecting it? Alright. If it still keeps on going, it's a problem with my mouse. I disconnected the USB to my other mouse. Or I'm just clicking way too much. So yeah, you're gonna add like a like a diagonal type of gap there. Should be pretty easy to follow. Just don't overdo it, alright? Don't add like the little bitty tiny designs. And bam. And that should be pretty good. If you could flatten them, that would be great. I think I could actually flatten it by making it a bit higher and raising and raising the other hoods a bit should be perfect. Now let's look at the picture. There seems to be like some holes in the middle of the car. Instead of making holes, we're just gonna make it coal. Yeah, pretty much. Coal is like a pitch black block. And you're just gonna... You're just gonna want to rotate it into the direction the hood is currently in. And put it in like right in the middle back or something. 
like right there in the middle back. Alright, add that there. This requires some delicate, some delicate scaling. And you're gonna want to increase and decrease by the looks of the picture. Let's see. We need to actually extend these to the back, I just realized. So we're gonna extend these to the back real quick, and now we're just gonna continue. I'm just gonna add it to the front, cause why not? Right there. Now, let's do that. Let's add the coal to the other side as well. Let's do that. Should have a good enough. Should be good enough. And then just extend it, decrease it, whatever. Alright, done. Now, what we're going to do for the final touches of this part, we're going to add the Lamborghini logo, which is like a little black box with a gold, with a gold piece inside of it. To get gold, you're going to need to beat the game, which basically means like get to the end, pretty much. How much better is Oh, 10%. I have enough to last throughout the video. So just make sure you have a good enough, you have a good enough skill or just make a fly glitch, it's pretty easy. And then get this, or you could use any block that's yellow, pretty much anything. And after that, I'm going to be saving this into a Lamborghini the Nano tutorial. I spell Lamborghini wrong for some reason. <laughs> well, apparently it's Toot now, so Lamborghini Veneno Toot. Save this there. And that's gonna be it for the video, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell, and so you can get notified for whenever I upload and should be it so thanks